Hey everyone, welcome back to, today, we're diving into something every next.js developer might want to know about, next wrapper. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned dev, this tool has the potential to make your work faster and more efficient. So, let's jump right in and see what next wrapper is all about. Next, Wrapper is a utility that simplifies working with Next.js, a popular React framework used to build static and server-rendered websites. If you're familiar with Next.js, you already know it's powerful but comes with some complexities, especially when dealing with server-side rendering, API routes, and middleware. This is where Next Wrapper comes in. Essentially, it acts as a wrapper or container for your components streamlining processes like data fetching, authentication, and even caching. To put it simply, Next Wrapper helps you manage common tasks in Next.js with less code and less hassle. So, if you've ever wished you could automate some of the repetitive tasks in your Next.js projects, Next Wrapper might just be the tool you've been looking for. Next, Wrapper works by wrapping around specific components or pages within your Next.js application. For example, let's say you have a page where you need to fetch data from an API every time it loads. In a typical Next.js setup, you'd handle this using a get server side props or get static props function. But with Next Wrapper, you can use a higher order component to wrap your page component and specify the data fetching logic directly in that wrapper. Here's an example. Normally, you might have to write a lot of repetitive code to handle fetching error handling, and maybe even loading states. But with Next Wrapper, you can simply wrap your component, and it takes care of these details. Imagine Next Wrapper as a blanket around your page, adding additional functionality without adding extra code to your main component. So, why should you use Next Wrapper? Let's break down the top benefits. First up, efficiency. With Next Wrapper, you can centralize data fetching logic, authentication, or even access control, so you don't have to duplicate the same code across multiple pages. Next, we have modularity. By using Next Wrapper, you're essentially breaking down your app into small, reusable wrappers that handle different parts of your app's logic, keeping everything organized and modular. Third is enhanced performance. Since Next Wrapper helps with caching, you can improve your app's performance by preventing repeated API calls. This is super useful when working with external APIs that have rate limits. And finally, improved maintainability. Instead of managing authentication or error handling code across multiple components, you can use wrappers for these functions. This helps keep your code clean and easy to debug. Imagine building a feature where you need to verify user access before rendering certain pages. Instead of coding that for every page individually, you can create a wrapper that checks if the user is logged in before displaying content. Then, all you need to do is apply this wrapper wherever it's needed. Setting up next wrapper is easy. Generally, it involves creating higher order components. Hawks, that include your custom logic, like data fetching or authentication checks, and then wrapping your main component in that hook. Here's a simple setup. First, you define your wrapper component. Let's say we're wrapping a page to fetch data. We create a function that accepts the original component as a parameter, then returns a new component that does the data fetching and passes the results as props to the original. So every time you need data, you just apply this wrapper to your page. It's that simple. Now, is Next Wrapper something you should consider using in your projects? If you're working with Next.js and find yourself managing a lot of repeated code, especially around data fetching or authentication, Next Wrapper could be a great addition. And there you have it. Next Wrapper is a handy tool for anyone looking to streamline their Next.js projects, reduce code repetition, and improve maintainability. Have you tried Next Wrapper before? Or do you have any tips on making Next.js development easier? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you want more tips and tricks for modern web development. Until next time, keep coding.